96th story from the Zen flesh, Zen bones, a drop of water. It dropped. Everyone drops, makes a big ocean, goes to staying. And Rakam's gold, that was the way everyone dropped. It's very precious, especially on the HF cow. We have HF cow, American cows. And Lalu Prasaja, the former chief minister of Bihar, said, when he became the railway minister, Indian government wanted to sell the railways to the private companies. They were running on a 60,000 crore loss. Lalu Prasad Yadav within a short time created profit in the railways and everybody was shocked. Cambridge University, this unit, every university is running to find out what did this man do. They asked Lalu Prasad Yadav, what did you do? He said, I did nothing. I have HF cows. And I know when you milk the HF cow, the last drop of milk to be removed. If you don't remove the last drop of milk, if you leave one drop of milk into the udder of the HF cow, the HF cow will fall sick and you will lose the profit. So when you remove the last drop of the talent, last drop of your milk from the udder of the HF cow, the cow is healthy, you make the profit. I found out when the goods train were running half, I said fill it up. Instead of I going, I rushed up to the other station and found it is filled up on going. That means engineers are making money in between. So why not fill it up from the first station? Fill it up in the first station. Railways make profit. You have to go back to the house to find out, not to the doctors. You have to go back to the house to find out, not to the banks to take loan. Before you take loan, you have to find out your strength. There is more money in your house. Your house is a bank. You rushed up. When you found out in South India, buses, private buses were making money hand in hand glove with the railway officials during the summer vacations. There are no tickets available. He said, North India, not many rush. He sent extra bogies to South India. Special trains he ran. Railways made profit. Simple. Look back into you. That's why Ramana Maharshi asked, Who am I? Just knock on the door, shall be opened. And some awake and said, Awake, arise. Everything is awake, arise. From inside, Bob Mali said, Get up, stand up for your rights. Your right is right inside. A Zen master named Gison asked a young student to bring him a pail of water to cool his bath. The student brought the water and after cooling the bath, threw onto the ground the little that was left over. You dance, the master scolded him. Why didn't you give the rest of the water to the plants? What right have you to waste even a drop of water in this temple? The young student attained Zen, in that instant he changed the name to Tikkyusui, which means a drop of water. In Rakum school, Rakum Guruji will stand in the dining hall and say, Tikkyusui, and every student will say, not a drop. Rakum Guruji will go to the school area and he'll tell the student, Tikkyusui. Sui and everybody said not to drop. Not to drop means not to drop a paper or waste or dust to be dropped in the classroom. It will be clean to the core. Yes. Rakum Guruji will go sit in the dining hall and take Guzi. Everybody not to drop. Not to drop means do not spill. Not a drop of rice to be spilled outside your plate. If you know to spill anything outside the plate, tomorrow money will spill outside your pocket and that is the poverty of your life. Money means your strength is spilling because there was no muscle. When there is no muscle, you allow diseases to enter. When money means it spills outside, means you allow loan to enter your house. You forget to know your strength. What right have you to waste even a drop of water in this temple? You should have given it to the plants. You have no right to waste when it drop. Because the smallest drop every engineer knows, the smallest gap will destroy the total building. I don't know about Indian engineers, but the Japanese engineers are very, 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 mm, not shrewd. Very conscious about that one. If everybody has believed that one, that a smallest gap the mixing of the cement, if it is not correct, the smallest crack will happen. The building is gone and the engineers used to commit haragiri. Teachers are like that. A real teacher, a conscious teacher is like that. 
You cannot create Brahmana Kshatriya, Vaishya Kshatriya, rich and the poor, black and the white inside the classroom. Every student from the first bench to the last bench. In fact, the benches should be rotated. The children who are sitting in the first bench should go to the last bench. The last bench will go to the next bench, next bench. Next. They have to again climb up to again come back to the first bench, the second bench. And the teacher knows every child in the classroom. Yes, every child in the classroom, not a drop to be spilled out. Every child in the classroom is 100, is 100, not 99. Like the Japanese uh, business meeting. Agenda is ready. It has been sent to everybody. Until the last member of that group agrees to the agenda, the meeting is not called. They will send as many people as possible to convince. And once the convincing is done, Everybody agreed, then the meeting is called. Meeting, in the meeting, it takes just two minutes. Agenda is passed, just two minutes. And the next four hours or five hours is eating, jumping, dancing, screaming, hugging, kissing. Because they mean the meeting is to strengthen your bond, to make more friendship, to love, because we call the meeting once in six months or once in a year. So that meeting is not to shout and scream and punch and hit each other like what happened in Vidana Savda in the parliament halls and in all the meetings. Meetings should be like that. Teaching should be like that. Not a drop to be spilled out teachers. When you have done that one, you are a great teacher. Yes, you are a great master. You are a great engineer. You are a great doctor. What right have you to waste even a drop of water in this temple, in this country, in this state, in this house? Once you understand that no banks, when Japanese banks refuse to give loan to one Japanese businessman for some reason, the whole Japanese businessman joined together and they refused to take any money from the bank. Banks went blank. Even they were forced to beg the business people to even pay the rent for the bank that they were running the bank. Yes, <laughs> suddenly they understood they had the power like the Japanese kids. It's a Japanese post office which has got trillion dollar empire. Trillion dollar empire. I would like to request our Prime Minister Narendra Modi to look into that. He has got the magical power to uh, instill uh, spirit and power among the people. Their primary school children are allowed to work 20 hours and not a drop of money is wasted. Every money they put in the post office because they have been taught you should not use that money because house is given by the father, father, mother, no rent, no electricity, no water, no telephone charges. Your food is given, your clothing is given, your education is paid for it. So why should you touch that money? Yes. So the, the savings of the whole country children is a trillion dollar empire. The biggest, the world's first powerful trillion dollar empire is the post office. We can do that. Not a drop to be wasted. The young student attends Zen in that instant. Yes. Everybody attends Zen in that instant means they'll become conscious. They know their power. Together is power. There is no wastage. Everything excess coming is just distributed. And in the distribution you find only love. Oh, yes. He changed his name to Tekkusi, which means a drop of water. <laughs> and that's how Japan becomes the most powerful nation in the world. If they can do it, you can do it in your house, in your schools. Tekkusi. Not a drop.